Okay, moving on now with the uh, Antec 1800. We have the uh, first chassis basically stripped down, drilled all the rivets out of it, and uh, removed the motherboard tray. I just put a couple more back in it, just in the corners, to give it some rigidity. So when we try to uh, bolt the two pieces together, we can keep things pretty much rigid so we know where they're going to be. Um, quite a bit of rivets. Uh, there must have been at least 20-25 rivets you got to drill out on these. These are really well uh, well made cases. But as you can see the purple one is next. We still got to take the motherboard tray and stuff out of that one. Get that stripped down so uh, I'll start drilling on that now. Okay we have the trays removed on both of them now. Um, so we can start working on the chassis themselves. I also removed the feet off them so they both be the same height because we're, we're going to use something different on it. Um, now ideally this would be nice if you could just bolt it together just like that but you can't because of the top cover and because of the front cover is overlapping. And another issue is down in the bottom here if you can see that there's a pretty wide gap down here between the two of them so we'll not only need uh, three different spacers basically three narrow ones, one for the front, one for the top, and one for the back. But then we're also going to need a wider spacer down here on the bottom to fill that gap uh, where the two trays are. So that shouldn't be too hard, but uh, basically we want to be able to bolt this securely together so once it's all together it's not going to shift and, you know, uh, move individually. So uh, let's see what we can find to make some spacers with. Okay, we started to uh, reassemble the cases again. It turned out on this one, I ended up taking out a lot of rivets I didn't need to. Um, basically, we had to put the motherboard tray back in so I knew exactly where our mounts were going to be. I got four uh, threaded bolts here that we're going to use for our initial mounts with uh, three nylon locks. So we got one locking the bolt in tight on this one. Then these ones will be our adjuster ones, so we can adjust uh, how much in or out we need to make sure that we're straight front to rear. And then there'll be a third one on here locking it onto the other case when I slide it up here. So I just wanted to get a shot of the bolts and stuff before we move on farther. Okay, we got the uh, bolts in now. I can show you a little bit better of uh, uh, maybe that lighting ain't so good of the lock nut set up so that we could uh, adjust them front and rear and top and bottom to make sure that we had them completely squared. And uh, I just tried putting the covers on here just to check our gaps, make sure everything is squared up. I think we're looking pretty good there. Everything looks pretty square. And I picked up a sheet of uh, steel from the hardware store. I'm going to cut some strips and we're going to run some strips or bands basically around here. We're going to fill these gaps and pop rivet that in. So that's the next step I'm going to work on.